used to be the main line between Charlton and Stratford Avon up there. It's now abandoned uh, beyond there, although there's still a single track to uh, feed the experimental railway experimental depot here. It used to be an army depot, now it's the experimental depot where they test all things modern, no doubt. I like to try and keep secrets if they can. Uh, but beyond there, going north, is now the Stratford Avon Greenway. So it's a cycle come pedestrian footpath. So we'll have a nosy around, see uh, if anything to be seen, and then we'll wander up here and see if we can find any relics, any signs of the old railway. Let's give it a go. Long Marston, or somewhere near, heading uphill towards the rail bridge. See that on the map? Oh, it looks like they're doing some work in here. Don't disappoint them. Oh, oh nice fresh ballast. Head south. You can see the impression on the rail there, it's had some recent issues. That's looking the other way towards the Innovation Centre. Fine old bridge. No idea what year that is, but I suspect it's been renewed since built. Although the pier on that side is blue engineering brick, that would be original. Well, that was just a quick look. Head off now and find our line going north. Been turned into a footpath. There we get out of here alive. Marvellous creaky noise this thing's making as it rubs against the tree. Main attraction here is the old army depot. On our right, get to see it in a minute. There's now a rail. Innovation Centre, whatever one of those is. Army not worried about using some old broad gauge rail. North of here the line's been lifted, we'll have a look at that later. But this is heading south. This is so that the rail innovation centre is still connected to the uh, network. Can't get away from these blessed helicopters and cars and goodness knows what. It's laid out here, look like a giant train set, isn't it? You'll play for hours on there. The whole thing used to be in the army base. Uh, some of the rolling stock. A little to innovate on, I guess. You can see where the army depot was in the distance, along with some carriages, some rolling stock by the looks. I don't know what they see in the foreground. It's doing done a lot, I suppose. Regional railways. Looks like old Mark Two coach there. So anyway, that's all. Uh, Private and secret. I'm not really filming this. We're headed that way north to walk the old line as was, and up to Stratford. Another view of some rolling stock parked up. Oh, 
no doubt somebody tells us what we're looking at. Go shunting engine going back and forwards. Well, we've seen some rail action, kind of. Oh, no mass in that way. Oh, rails across the road. This is exciting. Double track. Heads towards Stratford. And the station is to our right. Just up there. It's a little bit disappointing. I thought we might get around that building. But, uh, you can see, they're not welcoming guests today. But uh, someone's put a station, huh? A lionside hut. And a station look. How wonderful. Is that a smoker's retreat or what? Could be, I suppose. What and them? Here you can see in the foreground the uh, narrow gauge railway. So you just trot round on that, I guess. That's oh, looking in the other direction. They've even imported some Budlier here, look, to give it that genuine railway feel. Pretty large younger it's stuck in your buildings. We're going to be heading up this way, up the track bed, which is that, another enlightened council. Good. I've walked up the road a little bit to get to the other side of that hedge, because the signal box was just there. There are no signs. And the hedge up there delineates the line of the railway. No joking, you're walking or nothing. A rather unique signpost. Nice. I'll appear around here then. Signal box in there somewhere. The only thing that says signal box is slightly raised ground. So we're leaving the main road with the uh, rails running through it behind and heading up the track bed. Not quite sure if that was once an information board or a sculpture or made of old sleepers. Be interesting to see if there's anything left. Sometimes when they lay out these paths, they sanitise the area, remove everything. Well, I should better find something, surely. It's not too overgrown. We'll have a look. It's difficult to tell in there what's tree and what's post. A bit awkward. I believe it was double tracked all the way up and the width of this area would uh, confirm that, I think. The only thing I can see in there is a modern field fence post with barbed wire. Either it's all being cleaned up, perhaps they didn't have fencing. This is on the right hand side of the track. And in amongst that lot, there's a bit of broad gauge fence post. At last. Complete with holes. Move around there, centre screen. On the other side. 
open space, nothing. Just sheep fencing. Okay, carry on. A pleasant day to be out. Wandering the British countryside. Ah, now what have I seen here over on the right again? I can plow in there. Can. I wonder why they're all on the right hand side and not the left hand side. Either side of the screen. And then down there is a lovely row. Brilliant. You've got to think that they would be uh, out in the open towards steam days. They wouldn't have had all this undergrowth for fear of fires, I suppose. And onward. According to the rail map, there's uh, not a great deal here to find in terms of uh, culverts or uh, signals, any of the, uh, the usual stuff. I think we're coming on an accommodation crossing, which is where we'll head for the village. So I suppose fencing is all you're going to get. Do you think about it? A oh, lovely row of posts here. Picking up and sharing the job. A little bit of broad gauge. Just squeezed in down the end there. And not a straining post as far as I could see. I think it'd be turned around the other way if it was. Now we're on something of a bank here. And there's some holes everywhere. Oh. I wonder what the railway been up to there. Signposts were about the only things that were uh, littered along here. Perhaps we dug one out for a souvenir. Or perhaps it was our friends from the council doing a sanitising job again. Possible. As I'm wandering along here to the right hand side, I'm seeing loads of posts. And then when we spin around, well, we're up there. There's nothing on that side. Not that I can see. Why is that? That might be just one farm, mind you. So let's see what we've got a bit farther up. On our left, there's a gate, which you might suspect would lead to an accommodation crossing then. But on the other side, there's nothing. So not an accommodation crossing then. Right hand side again then. And so we have a proper straining post. That goes through there. Curved up to each other. Hard to believe that was actually used as rail once upon a time. Trucks have run over that. Now, if we come off track of it, footpath down here, it's off to our left. See if we can see any posts on this uh, side from the other side of the hedge, as it were. Along there. What's they saying? Culinary circles? Nothing. Mystery. But heading back, there's a post there with plain wire in it, which makes it railway. Where's that doing there? Add that to the mystery, I think. Perhaps Trevor or Andrew can explain why you would fence one side and not the other. The stub of a telegraph pole. Huh. What messages did that relay in its day? It was certainly a witness to steam trains bombing up and down here. 
and finally on the left hand side we have a railway post. Not the little round one, the one to the left. In all its glory. Let's take some finding. See if you can work that out. There's what appears to be a piece of angle iron bolted to the broad gauge with loads of uh, holes in it, locating holes. Cool. A crossover over thing. Left hand side's going mad now. There's a quarter or a half sleeper post to the left of the tree. And right here. Piece of broad gauge. Just make out the holes, can't you really? An exposure issue. Wow, another crossing coming up. This is the way we'll leave the uh, railway to continue to Stratford. And we'll make a left head for the village. I wonder if that fine dwelling was once the crossing keeper's cottage. Been added to a little bit here now. Another one of these. It says five in the middle, that can't be mileage, because it said five on the last one. However, supporting local businesses, it's good to see. Certainly an abundance of walking routes around here. Lovely. Good place to live, I should think. Some nice plain wire there. And this is attached to an old stone pillar, part of the crossing mechanism. Done about the gate, it was pretty old. And the fence carries on with a bit of broad gauge, as you might expect. The structural route, and they've reached there. If I can get it all in, that's better. And now we're heading off down here. That says railway cottage. But it didn't explain the relationship. Oops, if I could hold this still, I'd be doing well, wouldn't I? And if that was part of the railway, it's been uh, extensively modified. The hedge there at the top denotes the course of the railway. Head on along there. We're heading down here to the village. Go back that way. Long Marston then. A bit boring from this uh, perspective. I would suspect a lovely place to live. This looks like once upon a time it might have been a blacksmith or even a blacksmith. In need of modernisation, I think they describe that. And no doubt this will be Blacksmith Cottage or something of the sort. Better if it was off right, better, sort of. Oh, church here somewhere then. Oh, we're getting warm. Oh, lovely drive. So where's the church then? Looks likely. And nothing says church. What's that I see among the trees? Nice lynch gate. It's 
space for a few more. Better view of the tower from here. Half timbered. Well, wow, that's a nice epitaph, isn't it? Get much better than that. A wonderful porch. A centuries old door, I should think. Five minutes with the Lord, amend my want list. See how we do. Well, you never know. Can never resist the uh, sitting in peace in these places. Wonderful. What do you think that was? Not putting coffins on. Articulated arm here, look. Oh, very strange. Another mystery. Right, moving on. I'm off for a jolly well go. Not far now, just down there. Oh, well, we're going to call it a day at that. We've had a railway walk, we've visited a lovely little village, had a look around the church. You get your money's worth on this channel, don't you? If you agree, I'll catch you on the next one.